tore up my tractor today, so now I decided to work on a different project. Y'all can't see it, but I got my a big, not a big, a, a, another piece of machinery and excavator behind me in the truck. I'm, <laughs> I'm pulling it through the woods. Oh, there's a deer. Hold on just a second. I hope he ain't gonna stay as a buck too. Yeah, he slipped off in the woods. Thought I might be able to show him to you. Anyway, oh, um, what was I gonna tell you? Oh, so I've got this uh, excavator behind me. I'm pulling through the woods. I'm going over here to a barn. I got this neat little story I want to tell you about. 20 years ago, George called me and said, hey, I know a man who's got two wooden boats he wants to sell. Would you be interested? Well, I mean, at the time I truly wasn't in the market for a wooden boat, but I knew better than to let him go. And so I said, yeah, let's go look at them. So we loaded up. We went up north of Gant to a little community called Seawright. This man, his name's Billy Hughes. Billy's a great old friend. He's a, a longtime head of the Democratic Party. And what I loved about Billy was as much of a staunch conservative as I am, um, Billy always accepted me for who I was, and he never tried to change who I was he never tried to look down on me because of who I was and so of course I always respected him for that and so so Billy had a um, military supply business at one point in time not supply but like a surplus yeah surplus that's what I was looking for and he ran it for years and years and years and it and he had quit doing the military surplus business and um, so he had this big barn that was just full of stuff. And, and inside it were these two old wooden boats. And so George and I went and bought them. Um, and I, I have held them for 20 years thinking one of these days I'm gonna do something with those wooden boats. And so Travis, you've seen the Martin Homestead, you've seen the, the project that Travis started working on uh, with his Monarch, uh, 1968 Monarch and that, that's gonna to lead to a great adventure uh, for me and Travis and Kate, my middle daughter and Anna, who is his youngest daughter. And so um, he, we got to talking about this wooden boat and, and we've come up with another adventure we're gonna do with it. So we're gonna get it out and load it up on a trailer today and we're gonna take it down there to uh, the sandblasting guy and uh, let him work on it a little bit, paint it up, get it kind of you know, fixed up a little bit and see if we can get her seaworthy. Might even give her a name. So, uh, this is the first of many, y'all stay tuned. boat I had to kind of dig my way in here I just moved all this wood off the top of it it's been sitting in this barn for at least 10 years before that it was in, in another barn you can kind of see it's got the lap side and it's green it's got a metal keel on it that's going to be a um speedometer I think I got to move some of that stuff try to put a strap around the front a strap around the back pick it up and back it out of here if I'm lucky say a prayer this by the way this is the other old boat that was here in that barn that I bought from Billy Hughes and it's mahogany it's a beautiful boat and the hull is in pretty good shape. 
The deck, though, is not in the best of shape. And I don't know about the, you know, the, I say the hull, I should have said the sidewalls, the gunnel, whatever you wanted to call it. I don't know about the hull down there. But right now I'm just trying to get to that boat over there so I can get it out. If you know anything about this boat right here, it was a Navy boat, that's what he told me. If you were in the Navy, you know anything about that boat, let me know. Has a cabin up here, has gauges. Obviously, seat's gone. This is where the engine would have been, I think. Or maybe access to the engine. And then I think that would have been seating back there. Definitely an inboard motor. There's the, there's the prop right there. See the blades on the prop. There's still a rudder behind it. You can't see it because it's too dark. Just back there. Let me know if you know anything about it. So you may think to yourself, how do you know that a boat that old is still strong enough to use? Well, here's one way. I'm walking on it. It's not soft, it's not spongy, nothing. Best part about the boat to me, you know it's a saltwater boat because look, it's built to cut through waves and to push up over the top of them. It's not built flat bottom. This is called a modified V. It's a great boat for like a bay boat. Be good for the big part of the lake. This is gonna be a great boat for our family. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about what Travis has in mind for it today. So this big storm all right here. Of course, it started to rain right when I got ready to get to the good part. I had to go check to see if my windows were down on my truck. It's right there. It's moving north. Coming up out the gulf. Another little interesting fun fact that I just got into. That. Three leaves and a vine. That's poison ivy. I have terrible, terrible reactions to poison ivy. And as I was getting off the machine just a second ago, I rubbed it all down this side of my shirt. Luckily, it hadn't touched my skin. Let me try to stay away from it, see if I can get done, get out of this shirt. Maybe I won't get it. All right, back at it. In the rain. So I decided before I make this awful mess of things, because I almost rubbed into it again. Let's at least get it off the tree and get it out of my workplace.
know this boat hadn't seen water in at least 50 years. We are making progress. Moved about, oh, eight feet probably. Hope we're not tearing anything up underneath. I don't like the fact that I'm dragging that beam. I wanted to slide across the top of it. But we're fixing to pick it all the way up and try to get it off the ground. So I didn't like, I had too much slack in the front. The bow was pointed too far down. I also don't like how far out my arm's reaching. I'm gonna have to do something to get it the weight back up towards the machine, but we'll figure that out in just a minute. But here she is, get a better view of her. We kind of measured her the other day. We thought she was 16 feet long. There's the hole I just pulled her out of. I thought for sure I'd find a rattlesnake in there. No such luck. filming each other I guess moving this old boat of his Woo. gonna try to load it up and get it down to our uh, Tracy and let him sandblast it and repaint it It'll be a neat boat That's all I got. 